What is the one thing that nobody knows about your job or profession, but is common knowledge for you? Well, mine is the craziest thing ever. If scientists stopped working for expensive medical journals for free, scientific publishing would get vanished overnight. Here is the deal. As a scientist, I work on papers, medical papers. I try to prove my points, my ideas, my hypothesis. I do studies with my colleagues, and then we end up writing a manuscript. We put all the results into a paper. Then we submit the paper to a medical journal. And the editor of that journal sends our paper out to peer reviewers. Those are also scientists using their expertise and knowledge and experience, providing a review about our paper. They will send comments, suggestions, remarks, critical points, everything that matters for the editor of the medical journal to make a decision about our paper, to accept it, ask for a revision, or reject it altogether. If they accept our paper, then I can pay thousands, several thousands of dollars to the medical journal to get our paper published. That's how we can get scientific recognition. That's how other scientists can cite our papers. Can you guess what percentage those scientists that peer reviewed the paper and made the whole publishing process possible get from that amount? Zero. That's how much. Can you imagine that? It's a miracle that scientific publishing still works. You could ask, then why do I publish in such medical journals? Because that's how I get scientific recognition. If I publish in non-peer-reviewed journals, I won't be able to use those papers in PhD defenses, in asking for funding or to be cited by other researchers. I don't play a role in the way scientific publishing works or science works in general. A second question you could ask is, this process is so awful, why don't we reach out to artificial intelligence? Why don't we ask generative AI to provide peer review about papers? Because we are not there yet. You need the human expertise, the human supervision, the way human scientists have been looking at thousands of papers and also creating and writing their own papers to find those nuances that can decide between accepting a paper or rejecting it. These are huge differences. So it's, it's just not there yet. For now, we have to keep on sticking to the traditional scientific publishing model. And if you want your paper to be in open access, meaning nobody has to pay to be able to view the paper, you even pay more. That's how crazy my job or profession is. And thank you so much for letting me share this emotional rumbling with you. But what is the one thing that nobody knows about your profession or job, but is still common knowledge for you? Please share. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get all the videos about the future of medicine, healthcare, and advanced technologies. Also, please check out medicalfuturist.thinkific.com to access our courses on digital health and AI's role in the future of healthcare. See you there.